All right, so my question is, um, out of the two disgruntled stars in the East, of course, I'm talking about Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving, which one of them is a better trade chip? Now, by this, I mean if you're one of those 28 other teams, which one are you looking at going, I'd rather have that guy? Um, based on, you know, like the the things that have been going on in the last few months. Ed, you you uh, taking us yeah, off with this one? Because I, you, you posed it in a group chat. So obviously we had some time to look over and gather our thoughts. And Alex said it was, he wasn't sure. I thought, I thought maybe, maybe it's because he's looking for a certain tinted lens, but I thought it was quite obvious. I thought it was Ben Simmons. And the reason I say that is because Kyrie is still a massive question mark. We have no idea what's happening with that. Um, but it seems that the predominant reason why he's not around the Nets is because the Nets it, at home games, he has to be vaccinated to play in Brooklyn, which means that, well, when he plays in away arenas, is he just not going to be there? For example, he has to play in Madison Square Garden at least a couple of times in the year. Um, Madison Square Garden or in the Barclays Arena a couple of times a year, is he just not going to turn up for that? It just causes so much confusion. I don't know what's happening. And it seems like his mind is set and fair. That's his decision. He can go about it however he wishes. It, I just don't know what's happening with the whole Kyrie thing. It just feels super confusing. With Ben Simmons, if I'm one of the other teams, Ben Simmons' trade value is not that high. I mean, I know Sixers are doing a whole, no, no, four first-round picks, right, 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 And the videos are damning. The content is damning. Everything is damning about the whole situation. What, he's got back injuries now? What is it? He has a back straight? It's mental. It's mental. Oh, okay. It hasn't always been mental, Daniel. Uh, actually, that, that's sort of diminishing my point. But anyway, I just think, Ben, if I was one in 2018, it has to be Ben Simmons. And you, you have a bit more security with knowing what's happening with Ben Simmons compared to Kyrie at this point, I believe. All right. I think all valid points. Where, where, where does everyone else stand? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say Kyrie's the more valuable one. Um, purely because a, he has like, he's, he's proven himself. I, I still think Simmons is to prove himself at the very, very top in terms of like, actually like getting the chips, actually like taking your teams to finals, for example. And, with Kyrie, yes, he's been there before. And Ed's just touched on it in terms of the fact that you can't play the home games. But I would say the fact that when it comes to a playoff series, if you're a side that gets Kyrie, just make sure that you've got four games away. And then you can march through the playoffs, win all your away games, and then you get the chip. Just do that. Simmons is unreliable. Look at him in the in the series. Was it against the Hawks when he couldn't even dump? So never mind Kyrie not turning up for the games. Simmons doesn't even turn up when he's on the court. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's it's tough. I think there's both of these players have got mental blocks. One of them off the court in Kyrie, and the other one on the court in Ben Simmons. And if you're a team, do you think you can remove either of those or, or work through them? Uh, it's very, very difficult. Alex, you're closest to this situation. Uh, as you love why you bring this up, man? <laughs> why you gotta bring this up to me? You know how hard this has been for me. I mean, Bray, it's, it's an excellent question because it's an impossible uh, one to answer. Both have problems, and you look at it away, and it, it, nothing simple. But you gotta realize what, what we play in it. We're playing the sport of basketball. Kyrie Irving is a better basketball player, hence why he should be the more more luxury trade target. Uh, you look at what he did last season, uh, up in field goal percentage, up in three-point percentage. He had an exceptional season. And Ben Simmons doesn't have that. Uh, Curry works on his game. Yeah, he's a bit outlandish with his tactics and how he deals with, with teammates. But have, has anyone seen what Ben Simmons has done with the, the Philly teammates and you want to have him on your team? I think that's a, that's a massive uh, red mark for me. And I know that hurts because I generally think I struggle to think which team would want uh, Ben Simmons right now. And which team? Which team's going to trade for Kyrie? Trade for the Brooklyn Nets. No, I'm, I'm kidding. They're going to trade him away. They're not, they're not doing. Not, neither team is doing that. Who's going to trade for Kyrie? Who, who's going to want Kyrie with this whole uncertainty of what's happening? I, I, I think if there were, if let's say this Kyrie thing goes on for half a season, and the Nets just go, you know what? We're, we're done with him. We don't, we don't want him anymore. This is a, a slot, a massive slot in our cap that we can do more with. 
So they, they try and ship him out somewhere. I think any team that's on the cusp is going, we want Kyrie. Kyrie is the thing that gets you from a playoff team to a championship team. Um, whereas Ben Simmons is the thing that gets you from uh, a not playoff team to a playoff team. So I think it's entirely dependent on which team you are as to which team you want, uh, which player you want. Even. Which organization is more desperate to trade him away? Trade the player away. Sixes, probably. Yeah, the Sixers yeah, exactly. are more desperate. The Nets don't care. They don't have to trade Kyrie. He can just sit there. They don't care. It doesn't make a difference for them. I mean, it does. Okay, that's, that's a bit of a It does. There. It does make a difference. The, the level of difference is different. But that, but that wasn't the question. Okay, the question was: if I'm one of the twenty, if I'm one of the teams, which would have the best value? The best value would be Ben Simmons because you would have to have right. a really big package to, in order to get Kyrie for Ben Simmons. Although Philly are playing hard to get, and part of it is their own fault. We discussed how not all of this is Ben Simmons' fault. Part of the blame has to go to the organization, the way stuff was dealt with. Not anymore, Ed. To be honest, to uh, be honest. It's, it, the, the pendulum has definitely swung. No, it's fair, but there are also things that I mean, I'm not comfortable fucking defending Ben Simmons. Um, <laughs> not, not every like I agree with you, m- most of it is towards Ben Simmons, but the organization's hands aren't clean. They made some dumb, dumb decisions. Oh, yeah. hey, you're, this is shit. This is shit. But hey, buy it for like a thousand pounds or whatever. Like just shit analogy to use. Sorry, Brave. Yeah, but if, if you had a, if you had a franchise player for Orlando, would you want to give them away willy nilly? You wouldn't. Oh, shit. You wanted. But, you wanted to get result because they're a max player. A hundred percent. But your actions did not do that. Your actions did not lead to to you wanting to get maximum return from him. Your actions were like, yeah, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Bray. Like we I cut think, you off twice. I think uh, both. You know, both of these players, neither of them are getting traded anytime soon. I think we we go twenty games, forty games down the track. It'll be interesting to see where we're at. Um, I think with the Kyrie thing, obviously, if he basically just reverses his decision, gets vaccinated and plays, we basically forget this ever happened. Um, whereas we are net, we're not going to forget um, this whole Ben Simmons saga. Um, at least until he goes, it's going to take him a longer period of time to go to another team and then be good with that team before we start to forget this little blot on his resume, I think. Right, just before I end on this, I wonder how Kevin Durant feels because he is the, he, Kyrie was one of the main reasons he came to Brooklyn. I think Katie cares. God. He just I, wants to be in New York. He's just like, yeah, whatever. I mean, I think, I think he probably he probably feels really bad about it because he's he's looking at what happened last year and if he ha- if Kyrie doesn't get injured oh, they beat the bucks that, that's just it. it they win so he's like on the court he, and on the court Kyrie is amazing like let's be honest oh, yeah. he's a, he yeah, is definitely. truly truly awesome and like yeah you you kind of take some of that baggage but obviously they're at an impasse at the moment so they're probably still friends but he's you know if it was me I'd be like you're kind of you obviously value this over the friendship that they have um and you know you don't want it, you, you're not a guy that's going to be in the trenches uh so that is a, a pretty big turn off from a basketball standpoint do you reckon uh, if you were to ask kd you could either have either harden or kyrie he'll be like give me harden do you, do, what, what do you reckon kd's response would be uh on the court kyrie just the whole thing the whole off thing the court harden Oh, then, oh, then I think he wants Harden. It's the OKC thing as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, on, on, honestly, like, Kyrie is the ultimate number two. The ultimate number two. He is like the, oh, your star's tired. Take three possessions off and watch this man get three buckets. Like, it's nothing. Anyway, all right, anyway. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll end it there. Um, uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in to uh, these few episodes of the Sixth Man Show. Um, we will catch you again very, very soon.